What? I can't get in. What? Okay, so I'm the only administrator, so how am I going to get into this website? Okay, so how and why does this sort of thing happen? Well, in our experience, the most common situation for like um, when you can't get into your website is your site's potentially been hacked um, and they've gone in either into the database themselves and um, removed passwords or they've managed to get into your WordPress uh, environment and they've gone through and uh, deleted accounts or changed the passwords. So this first step is how to change the password and then um, once we've done this and showed you how to do this then we can also show you how to check the um, users inside your PHP um, or your SQL environment in, in the database basically and um, show you how you can create an administrator user in there um, and which will allow you to get back into your website and then you'll be able to see what's going on. So let's, um, let's move on. So the first thing you want to do is you want to navigate to your um, hosting provider. As you can see, um, we're in our area and we've gone to PHP MyAdmin and we're going to sign in. Once you've signed in, you will notice the tables on the left hand side. You want to select the table that says users and then you'll be able to find your user, your single administrator user um, and you can then go in and edit it as the user. Now under where it says user pass, you want to select this, you want to drop this down so it says MD5. And then this is the encrypted password. So we can add our new password. So I'm going to call this test password 123 exclamation mark. And because it's MD5, that will encrypt it. And then we're going to go and scroll down until we see the go button. We're going to select that. And that has now updated our user password. So now what we can do is we can close that down. We can come back to our user account. And we can type in our password that we created. As you can see there, test password 123. We should now be able to log in. And there we go. So that's how you can recover your account and get back into your uh, WordPress environment. So once you've uh, signed in via PHP MyAdmin, first thing you want to do is select your users table from the left hand menu. And then you want to make a note of the IDs that are in use. So we've got one and three. So our next ID could be four, for instance. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on insert. We're going to give it a value of four there, and then we're going to give us uh, a username. So I'm going to call this one um, test user um, with capital letters. And then for our password, we're going to go and select MD5. I'm going to call this test password one, two, three, all lowercase. Um, so this is, uh, you want to complete the user nice name. So again, we can call this one something like um, test user. Um, you want to populate your email address. So this would be um, someone or call this test user at test.com. So it wants to be a valid email address, by the way. This is just an example here. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to scroll down until we see user status. And we want to make sure that that is set as zero. 
and then we're going to enter our display name as whatever the person's name is. So first name, surname. And then down at the bottom, we're going to just going to click on go. So that's now created our new user. The next thing we want to do is we're going to go to our user meta table. Now on this one, you want to make sure that you get the right uh, prefix. So our prefix in this instance is 50 underscore. So we're going to be we're going to be using that. So the prefix is 50, but we're going to be using that um, in this next section. So we're going to click on insert from the top. Uh, user ID is the same ID that we used previously, so that was four. Uh, sorry, the um, the meta ID up here needs to be blank. Four needs to be in here. The meta key uh, needs to be. So this is the important bit. So normally it's WP underscore capabilities, but we're going to be putting whatever our prefix is. So we're going to be doing 50 underscore capabilities. I'll just make sure I spelt it right, which it is. And then the meta value needs to be a colon one colon squiggly bracket s colon 13 colon open quotes, administrator, close quotes, semicolon, B colon one, semicolon, close squiggly brackets like that. And then you want to click on go at the bottom. So we just check that. So user ID is four fifty underscore capabilities and then um, this structure here. Click on go and that's that entered. <clears throat> now the next thing that we want to do is we're going to stay in our user meta and we're going to click on insert. Now the user ID is the same that we had previously so this will be four and the meta key needs to be prefix underscore user underscore level so in our instance it's going to be 50 underscore user underscore level and then you want to make sure come down to the um, the meta value and you want to have a meta value of 10 and then we're going to click on go and that's it now so now what we can do is we can go back to our um, WordPress dashboard which we got here and we can see the users here now if I do a refresh we should now have our test user that's it that we've just recreate that we've just created and test user at test.com with administrator so I'm actually going to sign out from the previous one and I'm now going to sign in with test user and think it was test password I can't remember I should have made a right note test password one two three there we go so that's it and we're now in our accounts under test user with this um, email address and as an administrator so that's how you can create your WordPress administrator from scratch using um, PHP my admin and that creates it directly into the database so that's the process of creating a password or resetting a password in WordPress uh, via the database and also creating a new administrator account uh, for WordPress in the database um, really handy tools or a really handy piece of knowledge to know um, should your site be hacked and you can't log in with your details or you just forget your only login to uh, your WordPress sites as I've done in the past. Um, but if you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to sub subscribe to the channel. And I just want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.